Well, all of these were started during the pandemic, and I really, one of the things I guess I tried to do was simplify things down a lot. Um, I obviously, like everybody else, I didn't have a job, and so I was spending a lot of time. And at the beginning, I made pieces like this one and this one, which I made the sections and the parts with no intention of what to do with them, and I just kind of made repetitious things and then gradually allowed them to find their location. So that's kind of why, even though I consider them one series, they're actually all very different. They're much less uh, cohesive in terms of their appearance from what I maybe normally would do because I made the parts without knowing where they would go. A couple of these, like these rock casts, are kind of outliers. I don't really know where they belong. They're cast stone. I made three of them. Not quite sure where they're going. And a lot of the, these ones here were the results of cutting up and destroying earlier pieces, then re, remaking them, and then remaking them again, over and over again. So it's been a pretty, they're very, they're very experimental, but I do feel they have some kind of cohesive unity, whether it's just in my mind or whether it's, it's not visual, because there is such a variety in them. And uh, it's kind of like I got to use all my different languages while I was making these. So this one was an early one, and I just made these squares and wrapped them in plaster bandage, and I just made a lot of them. And then just for storage, I started stacking them. And then it's like, oh, that works. So this is actually a reworking of an old piece that I cut up and re kind of took out the parts I didn't like very much. And then this is just something very recent that I'm not sure. You're seeing, you're just seeing my mind at work here. You're not, uh, you're not necessarily seeing pieces that are completely finished or necessarily um, worked all the way through. They're, they're sort of tabletop and I, I consider them very playful, a little not, working more from an intuitive place than a really sort of firm uh, conceptual place. Maybe that'll come later, I don't know. But I've actually enjoyed the freshness of this. And part of that is with the pandemic, we don't have audiences anymore. So we really are just making work for ourselves. And that's been kind of interesting. This is another group of pieces. I would forget the base for now, because I'm very dissatisfied with that. But the individual pieces are again, sculpture that I made that I then cut up and reassembled the sections and I made a group of them and I'm sort of hoping to make another group of them because they're so immediate it's almost like I have to psych myself up to work very quickly without much thought and get myself to that place so I have to be in the right mood to uh, to kind of work with them so and this is a piece that I'm actually pretty interested in for future ideas. It actually came, I found the first little section in the garbage. So I had a school I work at, someone had thrown it out and I took it home because I sort of liked it. And then I started expanding on it and it's interesting. And now I've got all these, I've been making a lot more of them. And the idea is to eventually try to create a site-specific piece of some sort on a larger scale. Other than that, I can't really say where it's going. I've mostly just been focusing on making the elements and then I'll figure out how they go together and where they go down the road. So. Thank you.